today we will discuss about variance standard deviation and coefficient of variation what is variance variance measures dispersion of a set of data points around the mean it is a measurement of the spread between the numbers in a data set what is a standard deviation standard deviation is a measure of the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of values a low standard deviation indicates that the values tend to be close to the mean of the set while a high standard deviation indicates that the values are spread over a wide range later we will see the examples and you will understand more coefficient of variation coefficient of variation is a relative measure of dispersion expressed as a ratio of the standard deviation to the mean the higher the coefficient of variation the greater the level of dispersion around the mean it is generally expressed as a percentage standard deviation the symbol for standard deviation is given by sigma greek letter sigma standard deviation is the square root of the variance it is given by the formula root of sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 here the variance is s square that is sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 now this is the formula to calculate standard deviation standard deviation is the square root of variance so it is square root of sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 where x is the x bar is the sample mean x is value of each of the data and n is the sample size let us see an example calculate variance and standard deviation of the following numbers 3 4 2 2 3 1 here the mean x bar is equal to 15 divided by 6 6 you got because there are six elements in the data set so 15 minus 6 it is 2.5 so for calculating standard deviation you need x minus x bar and sigma x minus x bar the whole square so in the second column we have plotted x minus x bar for each of the numbers see the mean is 2.25 3 minus 2.5 is 0.5 and the square of 0.5 is 0.25 similarly we have calculated for all the sets and finally we got the sigma of x minus x bar the whole square is 5.5 So we are going to substitute all these values in the formula. So here the sigma x minus x bar the whole square is 5.5. So the formula it is root of 5.5 divided by n minus 1. n is 6, so n minus 1 5. So we will get 1.1. So the variance is 1.1 and the root of 1.1 is 1.05. So 1.05. is the standard deviation we have also calculated coefficient of variation for this data set also the coefficient of variation is calculated by using the formula standard deviation by mean so here the standard deviation is 1.5 and mean was 2.5 so the coefficient of variation is 0.42 now for continuous series let us see how to calculate the standard deviation it is given by the formula root of sigma f into x minus x bar the whole square divided by sigma f now coefficient of variation coefficient of variation is calculated using the formula standard deviation divided by mean into 100 here the standard deviation we got was 13.82 and the mean was 20. 26.32 in the previous data so the coefficient of variation is 0.53 or you can this 0.5 uh, it is 53 percentage more percentage it is less consistent the data is less consistent if it is less it is more consistent let us see an example including the concepts of variation standard deviation and coefficient of variation see the data set 1 and the set data set 2 in the data set 1 the elements are 23 25 32 35 37 and 38 the mean calculated is 190 divided by 6 it is 
31.6. Whereas in data 2, the elements are 55, 29, 34, 23, 18 and 14. The mean here also the total, the average came to be 31.6. The total score is 119 that divided by 6, we got it as 31.6. The variation of data 1 is 39.82, standard deviation of standard deviation is 6.31 and the coefficient of variation is 0.2 or just 20%. Whereas in data 2, even though the mean are same, the variation is 248.67, standard deviation is 15.76 and coefficient of variation is 49%. So even though the means are the same how uh, different their standard deviation and the coefficient of variation so there lies the significance of finding out the standard deviation coefficient of variation we learn to know about the spread of the data set and how far it is spread from the main here in the data one the spread is very low because the standard deviation is 6.2 3, 1, whereas in data sets 2, two the spread is very broad. It is 15.76 and the coefficient of variation for data 1 is low 20 percentage whereas for data set 2 is 49 percentage. So you can say that data 1, set of data 1 is more consistent compared to data 2 and the spread of the data or the dispersion or deviation of the data is high in data 2 compared to data 1. So we can use these variation, standard deviation to compare two data set. The coefficient of variation also helps us to know to help us to compare two data sets. Hope that this is clear to you. Link of other problems you can find in the description box. Please uh, subscribe the channel and click the bell button to get more notifications. Thank you.